I'm now going to round some numbers off to so many decimal places. I'm going to start with the first number, 12.3543. I'm going to round this off to one decimal place. So I put my line underneath so far to one decimal place. And I need to look at the next digit. In this particular case, the digit is 5. Now if we remember, when we're rounding off, if it's 5 or more, we round up. So in this particular case, I am going to round up, not 12.3, but 12.4. When I've rounded off to one decimal place, it's a good practice to put 1dp after it. That shows people that you've rounded this number off. It's not the accurate answer, it's the answer after it's been rounded off to one decimal place. Let's look at another number, 4.7829. This time I'm going to round the answer off to two decimal places. So I need to decide how far I'm going to round off two decimal places and look at the next digit. In this case, the digit is less than 5, so I'm going to round off, not up. That means 4.78 is the answer once I've rounded off. But to show people that I've rounded off, I'm going to put into brackets 2dp afterwards. I'm going to show you another example of rounding off to so many decimal places. In this particular case, I'm going to round it off to two decimal places. So I need to decide how far I'm going to round it off and look at the next digit. Because this digit is more than 5, I know that it's more than halfway. So I'm going to round up, not 3.29, but the next number after that. This is 3.30. Because I've rounded it off, to two decimal places, I need to put 2dp afterwards. You may be tempted to just put 3.3 .3 and not the zero, but because we've rounded it off to two decimal places, it's important you put two decimal places, even though it's a zero in this case. 